Hey guys, Dean Chase here with another geometry lesson for you. Hope everything's going great. Let's go ahead and get this thing started with a word of prayer. Dearly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for the beautiful creations you have made, including math. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alright, so today we're going to learn how to prove triangles similar by SSS and SAS. This is lesson 6.5, page 388. So... In addition to using congruent corresponding angles to show that two triangles are similar, you can use proportions, proportional corresponding side lengths, theorem 6.2, side, side, side similarity theorem. If the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So if you know that all the sides are proportional, you could say that the two triangles are similar. Is either triangle PQR or triangle SDU similar to XYZ? So, to do that, we just have to compare the sides. So, PQR, um, is it similar to XYZ? So, what I like to do, let's go ahead and start with PQR. I like to pick the largest side. So, PR is the largest side of that triangle. And the largest side of XYZ is 30. So, we can write 30 over 42. Both of those are divisible by 6 to equal 5 over 7. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and pick uh, the middle side, 35 and 25. Both divisible by 5 to give us 5 over 7. Okay? Um, as long as all the corresponding sides come out to be 5 over 7 at this point, we're good to go for those two triangles. So let's compare 15 and 21. Divide um, both of those by 3 to give us 5 over 7. So this one is good. Um, PQR is similar to XYZ. Well, let's check U, um, STU. So the largest side of STU, I'll circle it in red to keep our pattern going, is 30 over 30 which would be equal to 1, okay? Um, so all the sides would have to be equal to 1. Well, if we pick the middle side of this triangle, I'll circle it in blue again, 20 over 25 is not going to be equal to 1. So this triangle is not similar. Um, that's all there is to that. Let's go ahead and keep going. Here's the side, side, side similarity theorem. Um, I'll let you read through that if you want to, but I'm going to just go ahead and keep going. Example two, find the value of X that makes triangle XYZ similar to triangle PQR. So to start off, I'm gonna say, it'll make it a lot easier to solve this if you pick a pair of sides that have no variables to find your scale factor. So we're gonna start with 20 over 30, okay? Um, I'd like to point out those zeros can cancel out just to be two over three. And we're gonna set it equal to, now pick a side with the variable, x plus six over 21. Because those are the corresponding sides. So if we work this out, um, we're gonna have, uh, we'll do our cross product, okay? So 2 times 21 is going to give us 42, because remember, we canceled our zeros out, so it's just 2 over 3. Um, 42, and we're going to set that equal to 3x plus 18. Subtract 18 from each side, and we're going to be left with 24 equals 3x. Okay. And then if we divide each of those sides by 3, x equals 8. Um, pretty, pretty basic. Uh, remember, we subtracted 18 here. That's what happened here. And then we divided by 3 to get x by itself. Um, let's keep going. 
Theorem 6.3, side angle side similarity theorem. If an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of a second triangle and the length, lengths of the sides including these angles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So, um, if X is congruent to M and ZX is proportional, ZX over PM is proportional to XY over MN, then you can say those two triangles are similar. So you have two sets of sides with an angle in between. And if the sides are proportional, meaning their fractions will reduce to be the same thing, you can say those two triangles are similar. So you enlarge triangle X, Y, W to triangle J, H, K as shown. Is triangle X, Y, W similar to triangle J, H, K? So they give us the values of this side and this side. They give us the angle and then they give us the values of X, W and J, K. So we have an included angle stuck between two sides. So we need to make sure that the two sides are proportional. So if we write 16 over um, 24, is that proportional to 18 over 27? And the 16 and 24 is 16 is H, I mean XW, and 24 is JK. Um, it gets a little confusing because they overlap but you really have to just look at the information given. So we're asking, is that proportional to 18 over 27? Um, there are actually two ways we could go about doing this. I, I never really say that, but uh, we can simplify these. So like this is divisible by four to be um, four over six. Uh, I guess it's also divisible by eight to be two over three. Um, this is divisible by uh, nine to give us two over three. That's one way you could do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this way. If we cross multiply and we come out to get the same number, those two sides will be congruent. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this in the calculator. 16 times 27 equals 432. So, 432 and that should be equal to 24 times 18 gives us 432 that's another way to make sure they're proportional okay so we know the two sides are proportional and their included angle is um, congruent so yes they are similar okay let's go ahead and keep going so far, so far this chapter, we have learned three ways to prove triangles are similar. The AA similarity postulate, the SSS similarity theorem, and the SAS similarity theorem, okay? Example four, they want to tell what method you would use to show that the triangles are similar, okay? So we have two triangles here, and the only information we have is all the side lengths. So there's really only one option to show that these two triangles are similar, and that's the S, S, S similarity theorem. Uh, oh man, I misspelled that bad. Okay, there we go. The SSS similarity theorem. Okay, similarity, sorry. Um, that's it guys, another lesson done. I hope everybody's doing awesome and I guess have a good day. See ya! Bye.